Most of you will agree, filing your taxes, nothing but a pain most times, right? But perhaps more than any other year, knowing the tax changes this year could maybe lead to a much bigger refund if you're headed in that direction. Tonight, iTeam reporter Brian New has the top five COVID tax tips. Nothing about this past year has been normal, not even how we spend our money or how we save it. And filing your taxes will be no exception. For a lot of taxpayers, 2020 will be one of the most complex years they've ever had. Certified professional accountant Bill Dindy says Congress has made unprecedented changes this year to the tax code. Many of those changes could lead to a bigger refund. That is, as long as you know about them. I think the biggest danger for a lot of people is leaving money on the table. So here are the top five tax changes you need to know. Number one, missing stimulus checks. For months now, we've heard story. So I waited and I waited. After story, after story. I'm thinking we were left out. <laughs> all from people who did not receive their stimulus check. For the millions who didn't, this is your last chance. You can claim it as a tax credit. Look for the line on your taxes that says recovery rebate credit and follow the instructions. Number two, unemployment benefits. For millions of Texans, this year was the first time they've ever lost a job or been furloughed. And what's easy to overlook at the time when you're struggling is that unemployment benefits or taxable income. So one of the areas that's maybe a negative surprise for some people is they're going to end up owing more tax than they had anticipated because they didn't have enough withholding along the way. Number three, early retirement withdrawal. This year forced many people to dip into their 401k or IRA retirement accounts. In any other year, if you did this and are younger than 59 and a half, there's a penalty. But not this year. It was waived. You still have to pay income tax on that money, but if you put it all back in the next three years, that income tax will be reimbursed. Number four, home office deductions. Just because you were forced to work at home this year does not mean you can deduct your home office. This goes for anyone who works for a company or an individual. But if you're self-employed, that's different. If you're a 1099 or a contract uh, worker, you can't take that home office deduction, your supply deduction, part of the phone deduction, your advertising expense deduction, et cetera. But be aware that these are areas that the IRS will scrutinize because it's so easy for people to abuse these areas. Number five, sick leave for self-employed. Self-employed people who couldn't work because of COVID can claim a new tax credit this year. You'll need to fill out a 7202 form. The credit is equivalent to sick leave pay, as if they were an employee. And here's a bonus tip. Even though Texans, due to the winter storms, have been given till June 15th to file their taxes, experts say you should file early and electronically, especially if you're getting a refund. The IRS expects more people to file taxes this year than ever before, and the IRS is already behind, still processing nearly 7 million tax returns from last year. In Frisco, Brian New, CBS 11 News.